Hello students, today we are going to discuss about the topic expectorant. What do you mean by expectorant? Expectorant are the drug that help in removing sputum from the respiratory tract. Expectorant are the drugs that help in removing sputum from the respiratory tract either by two mechanism. First one is increasing the fluidity or reducing the viscosity of sputum. Second one, increasing the volume of fluid that have to be expelled from the respiratory tract by coughing. These are the two mechanisms involved in the expectorant action. First one is the increasing the fluidity or reducing the viscosity of sputum. The second one, increasing the volume of fluid that have to be expelled from the respiratory tract by coughing. Examples, the examples of expectorant are the uh, the, these are the inorganic examples. Inorganic expectorants, ammonium chloride, potassium iodide, sodium iodide, etc. These are the inorganic expectorants. Examples of inorganic expectorant. Expectorants are the drug that help in removing removing sputum from the respiratory tract. Next year, classification of expectorant. According to their mechanism of action, they are classified as sedative type and stimulant type expectorant these are the two type of expectorant sedative and stimulant type of expectorant first one is sedative expectorant these are the stomach irritant expectorant these expectorants are stomach irritant expectorant which are able to produce their effect through the stimulation of gastric reflux and gastric reflexes these these are stomach irritant expectorant which are able to produce their effect through the stimulation of gastric reflexes. Examples, bitter drugs such as Epicac, Senega, Indian Squill. These are the examples of bitter drugs, Epicac, Senega, Indian Squill. Uh, uh, second, compounds such as potassium iodide, antimony potassium tartarate, ammonium chloride, sodium citrate, etc. These are the examples of sedative type expectorant. Uh, two type is the bitter drugs and a compound bitter drugs examples epicac senega indian skewl compounds such as potassium iodide antimony potassium tartarate ammonium chloride sodium citrate these are the examples of sedative type expectorant second one stimulant expectorant stimulant expectorant these are the expectorant which bring about the stimulation of the secretory cells of the respiratory tract these are the expectorant which bring about the stimulation of the secretory cells of the respiratory tract directly or indirectly. Since these drugs stimulate the secretion, more fluid get produced in respiratory tract, sputum is diluted. Sputum is diluted. Since this drug stimulate the secretion and more fluid get produced in the respiratory tract, therefore the sputum is diluted. These are stimulant expectorant. Examples, eucalyptus, lemon, anise, and active constants of oil like terpene hydrate and anithole. These are the examples of stimulant expectorant. Eucalyptus, lemon, anise, and active constants of oil like terpene hydrate, anithole. Next, the compounds we have discussed in this chapter. Two compounds are discussed ammonium chloride and potassium iodide the ammonium chloride is discussed already in chapter gastrointestinal agent acidifiers in the next two common potassium iodide potassium iodide molecular formula ki molecular weight 166 gram next it's having not less than 99 percentage of potassium iodide in the potassium iodide, the purity is it having no less than 99% of potassium iodide, which is calculated with reference to the substance derived a constant weight at 105 degrees Celsius. Next, to preparation of potassium iodide. The first one they are prepared by industrially. It may be obtained by the action of iodine on moist iron filling to form ferroferic iodide, that is FeI3 or FeI2 dot 2 fe i3 which is then gets decomposed with potassium carbonate which is then decomposed with potassium carbonate to get potassium iodide first the ion fillings ion fe plus iodine they react to form 
ferroferric iodide that is fei2.2 fei3 next the fei2.2 fei3 this ferroferric iodide then uh, react with the potassium carbonate k2co3 4 k2co3 to get 8 8 ki potassium iodide plus feo dot fe2o3 plus 4 carbon dioxide gas this uh, the first preparation next is second it is also prepared by treating hot aqua solution of potassium hydroxide with iodine in slight excess to form mixture of potassium iodate and a potassium iodate also prepared by treating pota uh, potassium hydroxide solution of potassium hydrate with iodine CKOH plus 3I2 that gives 5KI potassium iodate plus KIO3 potassium iodate plus 3H2O this potassium iodate react with carbon 3 carbon to, to get ca potassium iodate plus 3 carbon monoxide gas these are the two preparation of potassium two preparations of potassium iodide next two properties these are the colorless compound potassium iodide is colorless transparent or opaque crystals or white granular powder colorless transparent or opaque crystals or white granular powder these are odorless saline and bitter test saline and bitter test the salt is deliquescent in moisture the salt is deliquescent in moisture it is soluble in water glycerin alcohol and acetone these are soluble in water glycerin alcohol and acetone when potassium iodide is added to water to prepare its solution then temperature of the solution is lowered when potassium iodide is added to water to prepare its solution then temperature of the solution is lowered aqua solution of potassium iodide dissolve in iodine to form potassium CFKI3 aqua solution of potassium iodide dissolves iodine to form KI3 KI plus I2 gives KI3 next identification identification test for potassium iodide it gives the reactions which characteristics of potassium and iodine it gives the reaction which are characteristics of potassium and iodine next it test for purity it is tested for arsenic, calcium, barium, sulfate, alkalinity, iodate, lawson rhyme, cyanate, and heavy metal. These are the test, pure, test for purity. Next is storage condition. It should be stored in a well closed container. It should be so, stored in a well closed container. Next, incompatibility. Potassium iodide has been incompatible with the salt of incompatible with the salt of iron bismuth copper lead and mercury potassium iodide has been, has been incompatible with the salt of iron bismuth copper lead and mercury it also incompatible with potassium chloride and other oxidizing agents mineral acid cunane sulfate and other alkaloid salt other alkaloid salt these are the incompatibility of potassium iodide next the uses of potassium iodide it is used as a nutritional supplement in the human diet as well as in animal feeds. It is used as a nutritional supplement in the human diet as well as animal feeds. As well as in animal feeds. It is used in table salt. Uh, it is used in table salt as the most common additives. It is used as in table salt as the most common additive. It is used in the treatment of thyroid deficiency hyperthyroidism it is used for the treatment of thyroid deficiency or the treatment of hyperthyroidism it help in promoting hormonal balance it help in promoting hormonal balance it help to filter out chlorates bromates fluorates mercury from cells and tissues to help to filter out chlorate bromate fluorate and mercury from cells and tissues it is used as an expectorant expectorant to break up the mucus so the patients can breathe easily it is used as a expectorant to break up the mucus so th the patients can breathe easily it can help in shrinking the size of the thyroid gland and also decrease the number of thyroid hormone producer it can help in shrink shrinking the size of the thyroid gland and also decrease the number of thyroid hormone producer 
it has a mild anti fungal activity these are the uses of potassium iodide it is used as a nutritional supplement it is used in a tablet side the most common additive it is used for the treatment of thyroid deficiency mainly hyperthyroidism it helps in promoting hormonal balance to help in filter out the chloride bromate fluorides mercury from cells and tissues it is used as expectorant it is has a mild anti fungal activity these are the uses of potassium iodide potassium added molecular formula ki molecular weight 166 gram on 66 gram preparation they are prepared by uh, reacting action of adding on moist ion filling they form ferroferic iodide this ferroferic iodide react with potassium carbonate to form potassium iodide second preparation it is uh, prepared from hot aqua solution uh, hot aqua solution of potassium hydro with iodine to form potassium iodide and potassium iodide this potassium iodide reactive to carbon to form potassium iodide plus carbon monoxide so the preparation of potassium iodide properties identification test for purity storage and finally use thank you thank you all